Judge Carroll, for the next few years, the everything went along pretty all right, didn't it? How should I know? Between a job and home and raising the kids up, the best I was was punchy. I didn't know if things were going good or going bad. They were just going, that's all. Then the next thing came, that decoration day. Yeah, last year. Decoration day. Mom, can I wear my bathing suit? Can I? Then I'll be all ready, could I? You want to ride home in a wet bathing suit? Well, do you? Could I, Ma? I want to be cool. I don't care if I freeze to death, can I? What happened to pickles, Chet? Overalls, wear your overalls. In with the salt and pepper where I'm putting the eggs, OK? I never get to do one thing I ever want to do, not one thing. All right, Miss Misery, get going, or we'll drive away without you. You would not. And your red sneakers, remember? My red sneakers? Hey, come on, fellas. Let's go, fellas. Get away. Come on, let's go. Come on, fellas. Get your red sneakers. Look it, a squirrel. I saw it, Ma. I saw a squirrel. I saw the first squirrel of anybody. I got a book about a squirrel, and I read it, and the squirrel's name is Squirrel Nut. Oh, Ma, would you be scared if you saw a bear? Ma, if he came out and stood in the road, what would you do, Ma? Why do you think you would? I'd ask him what he's advertising. Ma, Ma in the blanket! Everyone's looking at me! Ma in the blanket! You like ants, Ma? At home, I don't, but aren't they different out here in the woods? Ants are all right. They mind their business, but not my food. I think this one's a father ant. Dirt in it. This one's only got pine needles. Everyone's supposed to eat a peck of dirt, aren't you? Brush them off, Joey. I wish I could live in the woods, Pop. Why couldn't we? I know how to light a fire with no matches. Rub two pieces together. Want to see me? Why does that make a fire? In a minute it'll start. Watch for smoke, Ma. Just Come watch. Come on, Joey. Let's go swimming. Come on, yeah, Joey. Hey, I'm coming too, okay? Only to the edge, Joey. You just stay. Okay, okay. Can you make fire, Pop? It's too hot for fire. Take a cupcake. Hey, you know what I bet would be a great idea? What? Flavored postage stamps. No. What do you mean, no? Just because you didn't think of it, or that other great mind, George Bastion. No, because where's the return? Who likes to lick stamps? Nobody. But if it's clover, mint, or spearmint, why not? Can you charge more for it if it's flavored? Would you? I would. Pay four for a three cent if it was. Gladly. All right, so even if you did, which I doubt, who'd get the money? The government. So? I'd like to figure something how I can get some. Uh, all right, even if not money, an idea like that could get you someplace in the post office to find. Get me canned for being a nut problem. Yeah, don't be surprised if I work on it. You do that, honey. I love the kisses of Dolores. I, 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 Dolores. Not Marie or Emily or Doris. Only my Dolores. From a balcony above me, she whispers, Love me, and throws a rose. Ah, but she is twice as lovely. As the rose she throws, ho, 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 I would die to be with my Dolores. Where's the mother? Aye, 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 Dolores. I was made to serenade Dolores. Joy, she's not here. Joy, please. Joy, come on. Somebody in the water. Joy, Joy. Joy. Come on. 
<laughs> What's the use? I mean, after all, this is the thing we... <laughs> oh, a year ago that was, and I still can't believe it. I don't know how we lived through it. <laughs> Maybe we didn't. A thousand times we think we can't live through a thing, and somehow we do. One thing I know is I can't much more. Me neither. Of course, that's the easiest thing to do, give up. We tried, Judge Carroll, like we told you. I'm sure you did. It wouldn't work. Why not? Well, it's a thing you got to believe in, and I guess Florence just stopped believing in it. Is that true, Florence? I don't know. I know I got all tired out. But that's not a permanent condition, is it? He's tired out too, Judge Carroll. And he's right, what he said. So okay if we go now. So it was last summer you lost the boy. What about since then? You want to go ahead? I don't know what. Well... The thing with Joey, I don't think we ever really got over that. For a while there, near the beginning, I just couldn't get it through my head. Like one day, it must have been about a month after, I was just starting home from work, and on the street there, a guy was selling these toys. And I thought to myself, I bet Joey liked that. And they're only 65 cents, so I took a flyer. I just couldn't get it through my head, see? So I bought this thing and I started to walk away. And all of a sudden I stopped. And I remembered what I was going home to. And who was there and who wasn't. So I started back to the guy to give it back, the thing. I didn't care about the money, but I just didn't want to have that thing. But then all of a sudden it seemed wrong to give it back, so I went again. And I was thinking all kinds of crazy things, like maybe it was a mistake and maybe the kid that got drowned was enjoyed by the lake. Maybe he was just lost or something. And I thought of getting right on a train and going up there to look for him. I don't know. I admit it wasn't sensible, but nothing I was doing around that time was sensible. <laughs>